please look at this chest x-ray in this chest x-ray which is a frontal view and the lateral view you see that there is mild cardiomegaly you can see there is basal congestions and pleural effusions and you're also appreciating a oval shape uh, opacification in the right mid to lower zones and this oval shape opacification if you see more carefully it is noted just uh, at the fissural lines on a lateral view also you can see this it is seen on the fissural areas so this is basically a interlobar effusion a phantom tumor interlobar effusion or a phantom tumor now please look at this image in this image what do you think is the diagnosis do you think is it right pleural effusion left pleural effusion right empyema or left empyema let's look into this image carefully again so this is the vertebral body so vertebral bodies are white you can see the sternum the ribs are also white so we know this is ct scan this is the descending iota, this is the esophagus and this is the heart. Remember the trachea bifurcates in above the heart. So the lucency, the structure which is having this luminal air inside, this is your esophagus. And uh, you can see this is your right lung, this is your left lung. Remember the patient is lying down with his legs facing you. So don't get confused between right and left again. So this is right side and the left side. And in the right pleural space, you are seeing some collection. And uh, this collection is uh, causing thickening and splitting of the pleural layers so this is called as your split pleura sign split pleura sign and split pleura sign is feature of empyema so this is a case of right sided empyema split pleura if there is only homogeneous fluid without this pleural thickening i would call it right pleural effusion but if you are seeing a split pleura sign, this is empyema. Now, what do you think this chest x-ray finding is showing you? This chest x-ray finding is showing you a horizontal air fluid level. So, this is the air and this is the fluid. And you are seeing a horizontal air fluid level in the right hemithorax. So, this is hydroneumothorax. hydroneumothorax. Please look at this image. In this image, we can see that the, there is an obvious pathology in the right upper lobe. And what is this? If you see carefully, you are seeing that there is an upper concavity and a lower convexity. And this reverse S like appearance has been called as a golden S sign. Golden S sign. Remember, the lower convexity is caused by a mass, a bronchogenic carcinoma. And the upper concavity is because of the right upper lobe atelectasis or the right upper lobe collapse that occurred because of this mass compressing that area and the fissure also got lifted up so you have this uh, concave upward part because of the right upper lobe atelectasis or collapse and the lower convex part because of the mass this is a golden s sign which actually is a reverse s reverse s sign had it been only been a right upper lobe collapse, the trachea would have shifted to same side. But if you can see, the trachea is in the midline only. The mass is preventing any tracheal shift. So this is golden S sign. In one exam, they asked you, golden S sign is seen in right upper lobe collapse, right middle lobe collapse, right lower lobe collapse, left upper lobe collapse, left lower lobe collapse. Answer was right upper lobe collapse. But if they ask you, uh, golden S sign is seen in, and the options, it shows uh, right upper lobe collapse, right middle lobe collapse, lower lobe collapse, bronchogenic carcinoma please go for bronchogenic carcinoma golden s sign is seen with bronchogenic carcinoma with right upper lobe collapse